Hi guys, this is Paul here from PA Brew News, and we're going to do Weierbachers Golden Ale. This is called Merry Monks. It's a Belgian style golden ale. Um, let's see what it comes in at. I didn't look at this prior. It comes at 9.3%, so it's a big old boy. Weierbacher.com. Easton, PA. I don't know if they do uh, brewery tours and stuff like that, but if they do, I definitely have to check these guys out because they make some really good beers. They have one, it's uh, one of my favorites from them is uh, Old Heathen, because that's just cult. Uh, they make an uh, okay version called uh, Heresy, but I can't find it anywhere anywhere that I go to, anyway. I haven't, I haven't found it yet. A couple of my, uh, a couple of the guys that I excuse me, watch as far as the reviewers, even in like, um, England and watch, they can get it, but I can um, well, they got set. They haven't sent to them, but uh, still, there you go. Oh, nice little thing on that one. This is my Grumbaha. Fills in the glass. Oh, yeah, golden, golden, frothy, algae, loads of carbonation going on. Extreme amounts of carbonation. Look at that. That is. Ooh, that's pretty. That that uh, that looks like a Belgian double or a Belgian triple. I mean, just by the look of it. So that's definitely a Belgian ale. I mean, oh, and loads of sediment. There's some sediment there too. So mix it up. By the way, if there's if you uh, bottle condition your beers, put it on the label that you bottle condition your beers. Um, it's just common courtesy. It's just uh, yeah, common courtesy. If you bottle condition anything or if it's unfiltered, put it on the label. That's one of those things that you should just really put on the label. There's a lot of places that don't do that and I don't understand why, but there's definitely bottle condition. It's like it looks like pieces of a uh, actually it looks like big chunks of fish food. Like fish food like these going on in there. Um, a lot. <laughs> well, so a lot of Weierbacher stuff so that I found so far, except for the old even, is one bottle condition, two not labeled bottle condition, and three extremely bottle condition. I mean, it's not like nice little stuff that rests here or mixes up. I mean, this is hazy, but if you put a light to it, you see like someone dumped a, a little. Little, you know those uh, little small packets of pepper? Dumped two of those in and shook the shit out of the beer. You see pepper all through the beer. That's a little extreme on the bottle conditioning, especially especially the fact that you didn't label it as such. I mean, if you want to put people off your beer, just keep it up. Because most people, when they put their beer in the thing, they go, what the fuck is this? Well, I'm not drinking this shit. Because you're not used to that kind of stuff. Make sure you put it on your bottles. Like I said, I, I work at a place that makes paper. Keep me in the job, using what you pay for, put something up, rock and roll. Anyway, to the taste. I'm not going to sit here for an hour waiting for some of this stuff to sell, because that's just ridiculous to do that. Huge banana. I'm getting a huge banana in there. It's very smooth, watery condition, Belgian -y, doughy, bready. Excellent. Uh, the head just disappeared because of the 9.3, I'm assuming. Very high alcohol content. It, it holds around the ring, but the actual head itself just vanishes. Um, I don't know if it will give you a good idea of what, the, what it looks like or not. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful golden Belgian color. Just loads of banana. I'm getting loads of banana. Not that juicy fruit character that I got off the Golden Monkey, that Bell's nail, but just tons of banana. And spice. A little bit of spice and like a pepper. But mixed with like a clove too. So it's almost like a wheat kind of smell I'm getting off this. With the banana, pepper, and clove. I'm just getting like a wheat ale smell. 
really good. It's surprisingly gentle for 9.3 also. That's the nice thing. It's very gentle. Massive amounts of carbonation. Just bite your tongue. It doesn't kill the flavor though. You still get that you get huge amounts of banana. A nice bitterness from the hops. And then and for the, uh, here's the rest of that sediment that might be in there. So, look at that fucking head, huh? Pour that in there like a man. And, and the haze, holy haze, Batman. That is some real thick, thick haze. Um, the way it tastes and the way that it looks with the haze and stuff, I mean, it would even probably be a good idea if, um, I know it's a Belgian style, but if they put a little marker on here and say, like, service it in a wheat, in a wheat, uh, ale, a rice beer kind of, a, a glass, because that's what I'm getting off, is I'm getting the wheat, um, the banana, the breadiness of the Belgians, the over yeah, what I was saying was, you know, the, the different spices and, and the clove and stuff, this is very refreshing, very tasty. let it sit for a while, then you just get this nice warming sensation from all the alcohol. And you get a little bit of an alcohol taste in the flavor, but really not much at all. Nothing to deter you from really like chugging it back. Yeah, and, and with the haze, um, Actually, the, the funniest thing about this is the haze, when you put the, the rest of the yeast in, it actually toned down the flavors a little bit. And that isn't rare, because I do a, I did a Figley's, uh, Figley's um, Space Monkey review, <coughs> sort of, and uh, I don't know if I posted it yet, these are all out of order if you've noticed. But, I posted, uh, posted that, I uh, reviewed that, and when I put the yeast in, it, it made the smell better. It completely killed all the taste. I think it was a little odd. Like for this, after I put, uh, excuse me, I've eaten the sandwich with my wife's homemade beer. So, a little, uh, burp and burp. But, um, when I put this in, it kind of killed some of the the flavors. The banana flavor is now not so pleasant. And you're left with a little bit more of a grain, a little bit more of like a, a barley, kind of like a, like a wheat grain kind of a, a flavor, like a grainy flavor. So it's changed a little bit. It's still pleasant and the nose is still very prevalent. Um, the banana flavor is a little bit out, so if my suggestion, and I do like options, options are good. Um, pop her in if you want more of the banana, the more wheat beer flavors, and then leave it out, um, or pop it in if you want more of that uh, grainy kind of flavor. Let's try it one more time. Put the yeast in and you just walk it back, walk it back. You get you, the banana is still there, you can't feel that. But it's very subtle there. It's less. And you get this more of this bready graininess. And you get this drawing effect on your tongue. You just walk back and walk back. And say wafts, it drops. It drops, it drops. So it's more of that Belgian style. So um, I haven't had that many gold nails. I had a gold nail that was 
really, really good, I remember it a long time ago, so I can't really pull a lot of flavors out of my brain hole. But, uh, it's more like a wheat ale. It's like wheat Belgian kind of a thing. But the golden coloration, that gold nail is right on the mark. Um, this is really enjoyable. I could drink this a lot. So, by that standard, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This is the Merry Monks from Firebacher. Eastern PA, Firebacher.com. This is called K Brunings. Give it a 9 out of 10.